55 year female came for ultrasound with complaints of pain bilateral lumbar area for two weeks she was admitted in a hospital two weeks ago with the complaints of cholecystitis or gallbladder infection now we start scanning from epigastrium placing a probe at transverse position here we see the left lobe of the liver which is mildly echogenic or shows heterogeneous texture here we see the pancreas which is also echogenic and normal in size this is splenic vein for pancreas localization first you search the splenic vein and then it is easy to locate the pancreas here we see the right lobe of the liver the texture is smooth and heterogeneous mildly echogenic no mass lesion seen and here we see the gallbladder a calculus is present in the gallbladder the gallbladder is partially contracted here we see the shadow of stone now we will measure the size of stone the stone is elongated and a smooth margin the walls of gallbladder are seen as thin line and appears to be normal no inflammation seen the size of gallstone is 17.5 mm when we placing a probe at oblique position from epigastrium towards right hypochondrium we get this view of right lobe of liver we see the texture of liver is smooth and slightly echogenic no mass lesion seen now at lumbar area placing a probe we see the craniocaudial view of liver now we will measure the size of liver for size need craniocaudial measurement craniocaudial view is obtained by placing a probe at right lumbar area and direction of probe is towards epigastrium the size of liver is 147 mm or 14.7 cm now we will scan the right kidney here we see that cortical echogenicity of kidney is increased and also we see hypoacute focal areas in the cortex this is a purple of right kidney and here we see the hypoacute focal lesion
now we measure the focal region of upper pole the size of this region is 55.8 into 46.7 mm now here we see the cortex of kidney is increased in size and medullary part is poorly visualized now we will measure the size of kidney the size of kidney is normal 111 into 62 millimeter and cortical thickness is 33.7 millimeter which is mildly increased in size now we will check the flow in the focal region Here we see the flow in the focal region. Here we see the increased flow in the focal region. The margin of these focal lesions are not clear. They are diffusely located in the cortex of kidney. Here we also see the lobular arteries which runs along the pyramid of the kidney. No internal flow seen in the other focal regions now we will scan the left kidney the pelvis of kidney is mildly dilated The cortex of kidney is also shows 
increase ecogenicity and heterogeneous texture. Here we also see a hypoechoic areas in the cortex. Now we will measure the left kidney. The size of kidney is ten point seven into 51 millimeter which is normal in size and cortical thickness is 23.5 millimeter which is normal the walls of pelvis of major calcis are ecogenic which occurs in infection now we will check the flow in focal lesion This is major focal lesion which present in the upper pole of left kidney. The size of this focal region is 39 into 27 millimeter. But no flow seen. This is supplying. And this ecogenic line is diaphragm. And this is costophrenic angle of left lung. Now we will measure the size of spleen. For that, also need craniocaudal view of spleen. This spleen is normal in size, 86 millimeter or 8.6 centimeter. The normal size of spleen is up to 12 mil centimeter.
now we scan the pelvis this is your anri bladder these are reverberation artifacts which occurs when ultrasound waves bounce back and forth between two reflective surfaces and appear as parallel line in the ultrasound image Now we will measure the size of joint bladder wall. The size of wall is five millimeter, which appears to be normal. This is rectum. It contains gases, fecal matter, and fluid. And this is uterus. Here we see the endometrium, which is thin line. Postmenopausal endometrium size is less than five millimeter. Now, how we will write report? 